What's going on, man? This is probably one of the most disgusting display, and this is what I mean by black panels are being fucking trash. Now watch this. Watch this shit. This dude said, "If I work at a restaurant, do I? If I come into a restaurant, do I owe you a living?" Watch this. You owe me to operate how we supposed to operate when it comes to our customers. I no, no, no. owe you the, the, I... the, the, the entitlement right there. How the fuck does somebody owe you? I don't owe you shit. I work hard for my motherfucking money. I work hard for my own doing. If I go into a motherfucking restaurant to eat, that's why I recommend cooking at home. The entitlement is motherfucking real, folks. These bitch ass. Oh my god, I hate this podcast with the lights on me. I gotta get my. I gotta get my main YouTube channel back. Because these bitch ass niggas just had a whole. Now watch, they about to call this dude, nigga. Watch. As a consumer, owe you a living? Yes, yes. or no? Yes. yes. Okay. That, no, the yes. fuck that, you do that's not. That's where we differ. I, as a consumer, don't owe you a living. Your employer owes you because you negotiate Thank your you. with them. Thank you. Your employer, the person that pays you, owes you the living. Not the motherfucking cut. The customer doesn't owe you shit. The customer is there. The, the customer is doing one fucking thing. One thing that they're supposed to do, supporting the business, that's what we do. But the fact that you think I owe you fucking money and you're going to shame me because I don't want to tip and you automatically think I'm fucking broke? You want to slander my motherfucking character? Nigga, fuck you. Courtney, you got a lot of motherfucking nerve to talk shit, bitch. You've been walking around with that same goddamn shirt and that same dirty ass, bald head ass motherfucking animal here in the back of your motherfucking hood. You motherfucking kryptonite whore. Don't nobody owe you a motherfucking thing, nigga. If everybody, you don't know what what time somebody on. Motherfuckers is putting money towards a new car. Motherfuckers is trying to get a car or whatever the fucking case it may be. They trying to put money in towards a business. How the fuck you got the mindset somebody owe you something? I don't owe you a motherfucking thing, bitch. You got me fucked up. I ain't owing you shit. You chose to make $3 an hour. Nigga, that's like working at the fucking car wash and you clean out somebody's car and you sit up there and you think you beg you living off a tip, nigga. The fuck? But this was the prime example of how black folk just can't come to a simple agreement. Now watch they about to now watch everybody on the fucking panel shame this nigga except for lot except for logic and quest. Watch this shit. You didn't negotiate your fare with me, so I don't have to give you anything, and I'm not Thank cheap, you. and I'm not a bad person, because I don't want to do Thank that. You. Thank you. Thank you. They're trying to make it seem like you're a bad fucking person if you don't fucking tip. And they faces prove it. Look at, look at the, look at the, look at the fucking female's faces. Look at all these fucking faces. Piece of fucking shit, man. The entitlement is fucking real. I don't owe you a fucking thing. Trash. This this whole what what is the purpose of this fucking show? Is garbage as fuck, uncivilized, dysfunctional, and they represent every fucking negative fuck. I gotta give my podcast back. Cause I'm about to outshine every last podcast on YouTube, especially all the black ones, cause these bitch ass niggas they ain't they don't even know how to keep it real. They don't even know how to keep it real. They really don't. They piggybacking, tiptoeing. You, bitch ass niggas, don't want to keep it real. How the fuck do I owe you some motherfucking money? Nigga, your employer owes you the money. Your employer owes you the living. You need to be worried about that motherfucker not paying you. You shouldn't be banking for a motherfucking tip, bitch. I was working my motherfucking ass off. I never begged for a fucking tip because I was worried about that motherfucking check. Fuck a tip. Shit. Fuck tips, nigga. Y'all niggas better get y'all a motherfucking job instead of out here begging and, and, and shaming people for not tipping. Nigga, fuck you. And this isn't a black people saying. That's another thing about these motherfucking topics. Y'all just keep trying to add black people in every fucking thing. This is an American thing, you bitch. Fuck this goddamn channel. I hate this fucking channel, I swear to God. It's to marry for a reason. And if I decide... You know, that's like me going over into... Over because into you know Denmark. Most, 
Hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah, Siobhan. That's shit. like going over to Denmark and saying, hey, why are the taxes so high over here? Why didn't y'all change that so that we can we can make business grow a little that bit more? That is not so the same thing, Anton. What the fuck is you talking about? We talking about restaurants. See, that's what's wrong with these bitch ass niggas. We ain't talking about no why no taxes being high. You should have had a better a better prime exact nigga. What the, see what I mean? All over the fucking place. What the fuck does that have to do with tipping? What does high taxes have to do with tipping? I just want to know. You bitch ass niggas, you having these fucking topics, you can't even stay on top. Dysfunctional, uncivilized, garbage, garbage, holy fucking shit. Like, when I was doing this shit, and I had eight people on the fucking panel, you know what the fuck I did? I monitored that shit, and I let it be known from jump. You got one time to check, you got one fucking time. To not follow the topic. Because you will get blocked or get put in fucking time out. When we want to talk about some shit, we're going to talk about that shit. And then we move on to the next motherfucking topic. We're not going to keep rambling and rambling. This bitch ass nigga rambling. How the fuck does paying tax high taxes have to do with tipping a motherfucker? I don't owe you a fucking living bitch. Your employer does. And the question is, why are you working at a fucking job and you know the shit fucking sucks? You know that job pays less and you slaving yourself for no reason. This podcast is fucking stupid. I don't even know why it's fucking here. I really don't know why it's here. I don't know why it's fucking here. Don't even try to understand why it's here. It's fucking bullshit. Bullshit. But let's go some more. Incentivize to go over here and thrive yeah. a lot more. Well, and, 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 hold on, wait, 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 wait. And they work a lot though. harder. That's a different take, though. No, that's it's not. And I need you to let yes, me to be is. able to finish my sentence yeah. before you get yeah. in and interrupt me. Because you have you're gonna have plenty of time to be able to say what you want to say. But my point is, Anton, is that you sound like a fucking you operate bitch. how you're let supposed to talk. operate in the environment that you go into. I will never go into Tokyo. I would never go into a, a foreign country. Or going to a different country and try to change the narrative of how it operates in order to be able to substantiate my argument. It does not make sense. And again, how to this is why stereotypes are real. No one's trying to change the narrative of how to operate on nothing. We're talking about tip. We're talking about tipping here. We're talking about fucking tipping here. What the fuck does that have to do? Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I can't. I can't do this shit. I, I really fucking can't. The topic, it, dog. Just read the, just read the fucking title itself. You have a whole f- matter of fact. I'm not sure. You have a whole fucking title. Women often know their truth. They just want to hear you say. It. So. That was supposed to be the fucking topic. And now they went from that to talking about fucking. (laughs) Oh my fucking God, bruh. What the fuck does taxes have to do with the original question and topic? Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Like, do I need a beer? You know what? Fuck it. Fuck this shit. I'm about to get a beer. Yep. <clears throat> yep, gotta get the beer. Gotta get the fucking beer. Because these motherfuckers just piss me the fuck off. Motherfucking dumb ass, black ass motherfuckers just went fucking AWOL. Went fucking AWOL. Went all over the fucking place. Why? Why can't you just stay on the fucking topic? Why? Why are we? Why are we talking about fucking taxes if the if this wasn't about taxes to begin with? I can see we were talking about tax taxes and shit, but the fact that we're not talking about taxes and this shit is all over the fucking place. Hold up, hold up. 
That's good OJ. Because what happens is you do what you do and then you give an impression on, on what we're like across the board. No, no, and it's fuck, trash. no, 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 and no, 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 Anton, Anton, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You sound like a fucking idiot. Just because one black person de- goes to another country and decided not to tip, that doesn't mean all black people are representate are the representation of that. And again, why why is this a black people thing? This isn't a black people thing. This is a fucking people thing. This is an, Amer- an American worldwide thing. What the fuck is you talking about? You sound like a fucking bitch. You just literally generalize an entire group of fucking people that have nothing to do with one fucking person. I broke down in your entire shit. I watched this shit for at least two fucking minutes here. You guys are already talking bullshit. Fuck this motherfucking network, man. That bald head black son bitch, yellow looking motherfucker over here just all over the motherfucking place like a fucking fat ass fucking burger eating Captain Saber whole bitch. Nigga, fuck you. How the fuck does one black person decisions affect a hundred million black people? What? Dog. Dog. How the fuck does one black person decision affect 90% of black people in a fucking... This nigga, this, this podcast is really fucking stupid. It really, it really is fucking stupid. I couldn't even, I couldn't even point things around how stupid this shit is. I don't give a fuck if this shit is entertainment. If you don't have a topic like this, stay on fucking topic, dumbass. Fucking That's dude. just my personal opinion. It's true. Let, let me... Let, let me just say this, and, and, and I ain't mean to interrupt you. Let me say this. Fuck I think that. the difference between the two, and first off, I'm an over tipper. Let me, let me be very clear. Put that out there right now. I'm an over tipper, right? There are times when I don't like tipping, and that's like when you go to Thank Jersey you. Mike's and you go to swipe your car because you got your sub made or whatever, and now it's like, oh, 15% gratuity at McDonald's and shit like this. Like, bro, like, what the fuck, man? This ain't no goddamn dining restaurant where they had to come and actually serve you, right? They had to bring out your drink. They had to set your table. They had to do all these different things, right? Mm-hmm. I have an issue with, like, McDonald's asking me for a tip or churches or Popeyes or, you know what I'm saying? That I don't like. Um, but other places, I over tip. And I got a whole city of folks that can tell you that shit. But what? You were, your example just now, Anton, where you are saying if I go to Denmark and I complain about, oh, the taxes are so high, I shouldn't have to pay this because that's what retarded. it is in the state. You don't have a choice there on taxes. Gratuity is Thank discretionary, you. right? It's not a set thing. You don't have to. Because if that was the case, every single place, it would be wrapped into the cost. It's so not discretionary. Yes. It's, it's actually it's looked down it's upon. Fair, I'm saying he has a fair argument. That's it fair. looks. It's looked down upon there. It's, it's not, it's not right. discretionary. It's considered an insult. See, see, I want to I add this to it, though. Because um, I, I like to tip. I think it's karma. I think if, if, if I put it out... Logic, you sound fucking retarded. What the fuck does tipping the motherfucker have to do with goddamn karma? Karma only happens when you do bad things, motherfucker. You do bad to somebody... Dog, I... I don't think I can finish this. this, this these niggas, these, it's something really fucking wrong with this podcast because they, cause they, they have, how do I put this? They have the potential. They just not fucking using it. They're not fucking using it. This will be the best fucking podcast and they see this shit. But the problem is you got a bunch of immature fucking children. You have a bunch of immature fucking piece of shit children trying to act like they're fucking adults here. And then they're going to start, and, then, and the way they went about it is that they're shaming motherfuckers for not tipping. Oh, you're bad if you don't tip. You're broke if you don't tip. I mean, look at look at Courtney's fucking face. Her facial expression says it all. Right fucking there. I fucking hate these motherfuckers. I do. And it's not just dumb folks. I hate black channels in general. Because they all fucking one-sided. They're all garbage. 
They don't talk that real shit. They talk a bunch of bullshit. They don't bother to go deep to find a solution to the fucking problem. So in so in other words, they would rather add a problem within the fucking problem, making more problems that really don't even make no fucking sense. And all of that could have been avoided if people just shut the fuck up and agree to dis a fucking agree. And then you want to know what's fucked up about this entire thing? Is that they're making this about a black people thing. That is fucked up. Yeah. It'll come back. And then so far in my life, it's been coming back to me. So, I mean, I, I and I like to just make, make motherfuckers happy. It got Wait, nothing you know to do with they karma. You sound fucking stupid right now. The nigga who left the table before me named was Zaddy. So, the thing mm-hmm. is, like, <laughs> my only problem with your argument, Zaddy, is you <laughs> the whole problem with your argument is that you're shaming this motherfucker for not fucking tipping. You're shaming this motherfucker. Look at all these stupid ass bitches laughing and shit. That's why y'all motherfuckers single right now. That's why you black bitches is fucking single and ugly and ratchet with all that weed for your motherfucker. Here. Nigga, fuck y'all. Oh, it, man, if I got on that motherfucking panel, boy, they been embarrassing me. It's some bitch ass nigga. I wish Ricky was there, dog. I swear to God, dog. That's like the most solid nigga right there, dog. I wish my nigga Ricky was there. Cause they, I'm gonna have to stop. I'm gonna have to stop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to stop. Y'all are fucking retarded. Every last one of you. This was the most disgusting display I have seen in a while from you guys. The fact that you said it is karma, how the fuck is it karma if you don't tip? Ain't no such thing as karma when it comes to situations like that. Karma is when you do something to somebody. It may not come back on you right then and there. Sometimes it do. But if you keep being a grimy ass person. And then some grimy shit happens to you. That's your motherfucking karma. That ain't no motherfucking karma. You bitch ass niggas just talking. Courtney, you got a lot of nerve. Wipe that motherfucking smirk off your face, you fucking bitch. Wipe that goddamn smirk off your face. You motherfucking wannabe. I got to try to look like a white bitch head ass whore. With your motherfucking flat chested see through brows, bitch. Siobhan, you need to shut the fuck up. You the last goddamn bitch to be laughing at a motherfucker. Y'all really about to shame this nigga because he don't want to tip? The entitlement is motherfucking real, nigga. Broke ass motherfucking piece of shit. Black folk, man. Black folk, y'all kill me. Y'all make, again, adding more problems within the fucking problem. Why the fuck is tipping a black thing when it's not? First rule number one, tipping is fucking optional. Rule number fucking two, it ain't karma. And rule three, and rule fucking three, nobody owes you a fucking living besides your fucking boss, your employer, your HR. That's the motherfucker that y'all need to be worried about. And you bitch ass niggas over here talking about some motherfucking tips. And number fucking four, this is an American thing, you dumb asses. I don't know if y'all was smoking crack the other day. I, just, I think you were. I think you fucking were. The fuck wrong with you bitch ass niggas? Y'all got a motherfucking topic. You can't even stand on this shit. How did how did Tippy become a black people thing? Yes, some black folks are cheap. I'm not even gonna cut, but that doesn't but that doesn't mean I'm gonna fucking generalize an entire group of people and say the decision I make is bad. And it makes us look bad. Fuck these motherfuckers, man. I'm done talking. This is part one. I'm going to get into part two because part two got the juice.